All right, welcome back to Yay Math in Studio. I'm Robert Adut, and today we're going to be discussing how to use inverse matrices to solve systems of equations. So a reminder that a system of equations is, one, is two or more equations that need to be solved simultaneously. Here we see two equations having two variables. Um, we know that these are equations of lines because x and y aren't squared or square roots or anything like that. And so the question is, what would be the point of intersection between these two lines? So solving systems of equations, there's many ways to do it. There's the substitution method, elimination method, you can even graph them. I'm actually going to solve them uh, right off the bat just so that we get an idea of what the answer is so we can keep an eye on that while we explore using inverses to solve them next. All right, let's do this. Yay math! So what I'm going to do between these two is in order to eliminate one variable, I'm going to go ahead and subtract this entire equation, the second one. So here we go. We subtract the second equation from the first and see what happens. 2x minus 2x, gone. 3y minus negative y becomes 4y. And 12 minus 4 is 8. Divide by 4 and y equals... 2. So that means that these two lines definitely cross at something comma 2, x comma y. And in order to get the something, that x, we could plug y in. So let's say we wanted to plug y into the first equation. Why not? So we can get like 2x plus 3 times 2 equals 12. And then we get 2x plus 6 equals 12. Let's actually switch this marker here so that works. And then 2x equals, oh, that's a lot better, 6 and x equals 3. So this definitely crosses at 3, 2, these two lines. Now let's use matrices, specifically inverse matrices, to get us the same solution. In order to do that, we're going to express this system using matrices. So Reminder that a matrix is basically a set of data. This is a two by two, chilling inside here. So we go two, three, two, negative one. That represents this two by two. Then you can throw in x, y, and that equals the solution 12, not over four, of course, 12, four. Well, oh, it's really glassy. All right. So the goal would be to multiply this by something such that it becomes the identity matrix. A reminder what the identity matrix is. Identity matrix is a bunch of ones and zeros. So you can imagine if you multiply this matrix times x and y, what will end up happening is 1x plus 0y, that's just basically x. And then you go through the next row and column, 0x plus 1y is y. So this basically ends up just being x equals and y equals. We want to get rid of this 2 by 2 such that it turns into the identity. And I always remind students like what identity means in terms of math. The identity property is basically something that doesn't change. You know, so like what is the identity of x and y? Um, it's just x and y. It's not anything multiplied by x and y or, or anything changing um, x and y's core identity. I am who I am and I'm not going to change. That's my identity. That's the way I remember teaching it. So what can we multiply this to turn it into its identity, its core value of x and y? And the thing we multiply by is the inverse. So let's go ahead and get the inverse of this 2 by 2. And when we multiply this by its inverse, it'll turn into the identity. So a brief reminder how to get the identity, or not the identity, the inverse, is first we need the determinant. The determinant of this 2 by 2, let's bring it down here. We'll put it in 2, 3, 2, negative 1. All right, determinant. These two multiplied minus these two. So that's negative 2, is these, this diagonal multiplied minus these two, six equals negative eight. So what we do is we get the determinant, we do one over that, one over negative eight, 
Then we take the original matrix, this two by two, as you can see, and we do two things to it. The first thing is we swap this diagonal, negative one over here and two. Those are switched. And then for these guys, we just change their sign. So two becomes negative two and the three becomes negative three. And what you can do is you can distribute this negative one eighth inside here and that becomes the inverse of this two by two. Let's go ahead and do that. Once that one eighth is distributed or negative one eighth, I'll put that in red. We go. Uh, new markers, fresh and clean. Uh -huh. Negative one eighth times negative one is one over eight. And then this distributes through, this is three eighths. This distributes here, this is one fourth, and then this is negative one fourth. All right, so this is the inverse of this two by two. So let's write it on the left of this and this. So I'll bring it over. Two, three, two, negative one, x, y equals, we have here 12 and four. And then the inverse goes into both slots, one eighth, one fourth, three eighths, negative one fourth. One eighth, three eighths, one fourth, negative one fourth. Now what I was going to say is something really important about it. These two can multiply because they're a two by two. You recall from a previous video on multiplying matrices that the dimensions need to line up. And so it's really important that we insert this inverse matrix on the left of both. The books call it multiply on the left by. The reason why is that this guy here, this is a two by two, and this is a two by one. You recall from previous episodes that if these two line up, these two links, rows, columns, rows, columns, that if these two are the same, that we can multiply these. And that's exactly what we want to do. But if we made a mistake and brought it here on the right, we'd have a problem because we would have a two by one times a two by two. And since these don't line up, rows, columns, rows, columns, we would be unable to multiply these two matrices if this red one was on the right. So we have to be very specific about inserting it on the left both times. Okay, having said that, You'll get used to it. Let's prove that multiplying these two turns this into the identity. All right, it's kind of cool how, what, how it just melts away. Rows times columns, here we go. One eighth times two, that's one fourth, plus three eighths times two is six eighths, six eighths, which is three fourths. So this is one fourth times three fourths none other than one, just as we said. One goes here. And then rows by columns continuing. We're gonna go into this column now. One eighth times three is three eighths. Three eighths times negative one is negative three eighths. That goes away, that's zero. It's kind of cool, just melts away. Now we're over here, rows by columns. One fourth times two is one half. Negative one fourth times two is negative one half, zero, gone. And then rows by columns again, we're on this column. Three fourths plus one fourth is one. So it works. That's, that's proving that this is the matrix. That is the inverse. So we have x, y equals. And now the result of this two by two times a two by one will be the answers for x and y, which is pretty amazing. So make sure we get this right and we go a little bigger here. All right, here we go. Rows by columns every time. 1 8 times 12 is 12 over 8, which is 3 over 2. Plus, let's write it. That's uh, 12 over 8, that's 3 over 2. Plus, 3 8 times 4 is uh, 12 over 8 again, that's 3 over 2. All right, and we'll come down here. That's three over two plus three over two is six over two. That's three. Oh yeah, so that's good. Got that one. 
Now let's make sure we get it for y. Rows times columns. 1 fourth times 12 is 3. Put it over here. 3 plus negative 1 fourth times 4 is negative 1 plus negative 1. 3 plus negative 1 is 2. And we got 2 here. Awesome. So it works every time. What's really special about this is that you could also use the calculator to calculate your inverse of this two by two. And then all you need to do is multiply this matrix by the inverse and you'll get your solutions. So X and Y equal three and two respectively. At the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you a brief way to get the inverse on this and use it to solve this system. Thank you so much for watching. This is Robert from yaymath.org and yaymathinstudio, and we'll see you next time. Later.